welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Jacob. Listen, I started not to make this video, but then as I was cleaning my potatoes, I was like, well, it's super easy. You know, I let me go ahead and just, you know, tell them what I did. I was thinking since you, you're you not really cooking it, you, it's already kind of cooked. You're just kind of jazzing it up. It may not be interesting, but you just never know. So we're going to go ahead and put it on there. What we're going to do, though, today is we're going to make some stuffed baked potatoes. Okay, I also have some stuff with some sliders as well, but you won't see the sliders today as uh my husband wants the potato tonight and the kids. So, what I have here is about nine, it looks like nine uh, potatoes that I have here. I just did the whole bag. We need, it's four of us in the family, plus we're going to need four for tomorrow. The meal will be for today and tomorrow. So, um, I just did that extra one and it was nine. But you do as many as you need. It's the big russet baking potatoes, okay? And they're wet because I've already washed them, um, cleaned them with, you know, just kind of scrubbed them with some um, water and uh, things of that nature. So, we have that. Um, I have a thing of, I have two pounds of the pulled pork that does not have the, um, the, um, barbecue sauce on it. And then I also have some beef brisket meat. So that is what we're going to be putting, um, inside of our potatoes. So if you are interested in seeing how that, uh, happens, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I am back, um. Uh, and um, I'm just going to show you really quick what I'm going to do with the potatoes. The only thing you're going to need is your washed potatoes. You're going to need a fork. I have some avocado oil. Um, and then I have some foil. Okay. And so um, I'll show you how to do one of these. Um, and then you, and then, you know, I'll just come back. Okay. So what I do is I just take my fork and I'm going to stab the potato everywhere. You know, just stab it everywhere. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but if I didn't, you need to make sure you have thoroughly cleaned the outside skin of your um, potato. Okay. All right, so boom, that should be good to go. Stab it like that. All right, then I'm going to take some olive oil. <clears throat> oh, you're going to need some salt, too. I don't remember if I said salt, but you need salt. So I'm going to take my olive oil. This is the one I just stabbed, right? Okay, I'm going to take my olive oil. Well, it's not olive oil. I'm sorry. It's avocado oil. I don't like the taste of uh, olive oil. So, I get the avocado oil. I mean, when I say I don't like the, the taste of it, I mean for, like, things that I'm not sauteing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. So, I hope that makes sense. I do like avocado oil uh, to kind of, you know, for the taste of it because you can kind of eat the skin or whatever. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to put a little avocado oil all around it, just like that. Rub it in. Okay, all around just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my salt shaker. Okay, just get your regular salts. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Got my salt shaker, just regular salt. And I'm just going to grind some salt on top of it. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. Grind salt all of it. Okay. That side. Okay, now for me, I'm probably going to just do the whole thing at the end, you know, whole thing at the end, but I'm just showing you just this one. Then you're going to take your foil. Just need it big enough to roll it in. You're going to stick this in here just like this. And we are going to cover this up. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to do all these, and I'll show, I'll come right back when I've done them all. Hey, y'all, hey, we are back. Okay, so I got all of the uh, potatoes wrapped up, 
oiled up, salted up, and wrapped up, okay? I got my oven on 400 degrees. We're going to put these in the oven for about 30 minutes. Um, normally, I think we're going to be cooking on like 375 or something like that, but I cook everything on 400, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put it in here about 30 minutes, and then I'll show you what we're going to do to the meat. Okay, y'all, so I'm big. Now, I got my pulled pork. We bought this from the Sam's, okay, because we're doing easy peasy. Um, we pretty much gonna cook this as per the instructions. Basically, it tells us to. I mean, what do it tell us? Um, it say like preheat the oven for 350. Remove the products. Put it in there. Add a fourth a cup of water and then cover it with the foil. Then it tell you you're gonna cook it for 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, but since we got it on 400, we hoping it don't take no 40 to 50 minutes, y'all. So hold up, let me take this out. Okay, so this is how it looks when it comes out. Um, it does not want you to like take it apart when you first um uh, when you first put it in there when it's together like that it doesn't want you to take it apart you pull it apart after it gets hot so we're gonna dump this right on up in here just like that Okay, and we already know we're going to need some seasoning on it. So, we're going to start off with some um, seasoned salt. Just put a little bit of it, like, you know, a tablespoon and a half or so. Then, we're going to put our water in here. Okay, so a fourth a cup. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more. It said a fourth a cup of water, but I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put, like, half a cup. Okay, you put it like that, and then you're going to take your um, foil, um, okay, you're going to take it for them, okay, and you're going to cover it up tightly, and then just put it in the oven for the, uh, we already got the, uh, we already got the potatoes in the oven for the 30 minutes, it got like 22 minutes on there, so we're going to just dump this in there with that. And let it cook, and then, um, and then the 20 minutes, then I'll like move it around, and we can add some more seasoning on it. Cause trust me, it's gonna need some more seasoning, y'all. If they is seasoned already, it doesn't come with the um barbecue sauce on there, but that's because I don't like the kind of barbecue sauce they have that they, you know, that Jack Daniels, whatever that mess is, honey. I don't like that. That's sweet. So we're gonna make our own barbecue sauce. Put our own barbecue sauce in there. Okay. So we're gonna put this in the oven for like 30 minutes, and then. Well, like 22 minutes, y'all. And then I'll be back and show y'all what it looked like. Hey, y'all. Hey, so look, I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> I took the top off before I even started. Let me move it in a little bit. I started taking it a loose before I even started, Uh, you know, before I came back. But anyway, this is the pork. That's how it looks. You see that little juice that's in there? I love that. Okay, so... um. I just kind of opened it up. As you open it, it just opens just like this, y'all. This meal is so easy. I, I promise y'all. Okay, look. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a little seasoning in it. I got some accent. All of these seasonings, let's just say it's going to be about uh, a table, a teaspoon. Except the garlic. The garlic will probably be like one whole tablespoon. No. Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole tablespoon of garlic. I love garlic. We'll put some of that in there. We have some black pepper. Put some black pepper in there. And then we'll put a little bit more of the, uh, instead of, uh -oh, instead of, uh, the, instead of the, um, uh, goodness, what am I trying to say, y'all? Um, the seasoned salt. I got some Tony Saturi Creole seasoning. Um, my husband loves that, so we'll just put a little bit of that on top of there. Just generously put it on top of there like that, y'all. And then I'm just going to take a little spoon, and I'm going to just kind of mix, you know, mix that up a little bit. Now, <clears throat> remember I told y'all we didn't get the one that had the uh, sauce on it because it comes with sweet sauce. 
and I don't particularly like sauce that is sweet. So um, we got this, uh, let's see here y'all. Um, we got this original bullseye. Okay, and then I have a little bit of this Kroger thick and spicy. Um, we're gonna put in here, okay? So I'm gonna just, you know, pour a little bit on top. Um, I don't want to put. I'm not gonna put too much on there, y'all, because uh, I don't like a lot of sauce. But my, you know, if my family does, if they do want that, they can add more sauce to it. Okay. So we're gonna add about. Let's just say that was about a tablespoon and a half or so of that flavor, and then we're gonna add a little bit of this uh, thick and spicy one. Okay, that doesn't taste bad. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of that on there. The same amount. I'm just going to squeeze it right on top of there, just like that. And then I'm going to mix this in, y'all. Okay, and then on the side, what I'll do is I'll cut up some onions. Um, We'll cut up some onions on the side, and I have some dill pickles that can go on there if y'all want to make sliders for this. But since we are going to make potatoes uh, out of ours, then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to, I don't think I need to do that step. Also, my potatoes are still in the oven. Since I guess they were a little on the bigger side, they kind of took, they kind of took another, um, like I got them in there for like an hour or so. Um, they need like another about 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just put the rest, you know, put the rest of this in there. In there just like that. All right. And then we're going to put this back in the oven, you guys. <clears throat> I'm going to put that back in the oven. Just like that. Y'all, so, so easy. Okay, boom. And that's going to be the meat that's going to go on our uh, on our potatoes. So it's going to be like a baked, you know, chopped beef baked potato or chopped, in, in this case, chopped, you know, pork. Okay, so let me put you guys on pause and then I'll get the, uh, the beef one out and we'll put some sauce on that one too. Okay, y'all, I am back and let's make my baby's plate really quick. Um, here's her baked potato. As y'all can see, it is soft. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to just, I just wrapped it up in this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my knife and I'm going to just cut it ooh, right in the center for her. Hopefully it's uh, soft enough for me to push. Yeah, it is. Push just like that. All right. Boom. So then we're going to put her some butter in there. Because you've got to have you some butter. Put a couple slices in there, let that melt off in there, y'all, since that's hot. Okay, then we're gonna put uh, her some cheese. Not too. We're gonna put a lot of cheese in there, y'all. She likes cheese. Okay, then we're gonna take a scoop of this uh, chopped beef that we got. And we're gonna just put this right on top of her plate, just like that, y'all. Oh no, y'all, that looks so good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so boom, right? Then we're gonna just put a little bit more cheese in there, cause you know she likes cheese. Um, and then we're gonna put. Her some, um, these are some bacon bits, real bacon bits, y'all. So I'm gonna put my baby some bacon bits on top of there. But of course, you're gonna top your baked potato with whatever you like um, on your baked potato. Okay, if you don't like something I'm putting on my baby's, then baby, don't put it on yours. Okay, we're gonna put some green onions on there for her. She don't need too many. And then she loves her some uh, sour cream. She act like she can't eat nothing without sour cream. So we're gonna use the rest of the sour cream, y'all. And we're gonna just put this right on top. Oh, yes, y'all, right on top of there for her. So it won't be no excuses, okay, for her. To, boom, just like that. 
Y'all, okay. Okay, y'all, this kind of cleaned up her plate a little bit. Because it's all about the presentation, y'all. I mean, I just can't give it to her like that. I really should have gave it to her on a real plate, but it's okay. All right, so we got that. And if anything, maybe we could put a couple, two or three. No. <laughs> okay, y'all. So that's her plate right there. Let me do a zoom in. Ooh. Y'all, that's her plate right there. The uh, chopped beef baked potato with the um, baked beans. Okay? So I will see y'all next time we're cooking with the Jacobs. Actually, I'll show you guys when we do a, a, like something with the pork. I'll show you the one with the pork too. But we're not ready to eat that yet. So I'll see you guys at the while. Hey, y'all. Hey, I am back. And it is the next day. Um, look, my husband is ready to eat, so I'm gonna, I remember I told y'all I was gonna do the video about the sliders, how I'm gonna do his sliders really quick. Um, we have some, we have the beef, the leftover beef meat here, and then this is the shredded pulled pork meat here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do to his, make his slider. Um, if you wanna see that and you're interested in that, then keep on watching. I'm gonna use the jalapeno cheddar slider buns that I found at the HEB. And then I also have a regular um, Pepper Ridge Farm slider uh, buns. Um, he wants a one in one, so that's gonna be a one jalapeno slider and then one regular. Um, and so I, I think I'm gonna do the jalapeno one with the beef and then the regular one with this one. Okay, but if you're interested, uh, if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I am big. I took my little pen out. I didn't want it to burn while I was waiting, but this is my hot pen ready for my, uh, for, for my husband's, uh, things to go in. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the bottom of his, um, sliders down at the bottom of that, uh, hot butter and then in the meantime in between time i took a, a half of a half of a stick of regular uh butter unsalted i'm gonna put one heaping uh teaspoon of the garlic butter and um, garlic powder on top <clears throat> and then we're gonna put some parsley in it as well we're just gonna make some garlic uh you know some garlic butter to go on top of it okay um i'm gonna also put a couple of uh, things of salt in there too. A couple shakes. You don't need very much. Okay, and then we're going to put that, let that go ahead and be warming up in my microwave while I'm assembling his, uh, while I'm assembling his sandwich. So we'll move this over here so y'all can see it. Now those are the bottom of the buns in that thing. Um, let's go ahead and cut this on for 30 seconds. Hopefully that's good enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, we have our meat okay so remember this is the garlic one i'm sorry not the garlic one this is this one is the uh jalapeno one on this side so i'm gonna do the beef with the jalapeno baby is beef okay with jalapeno or did you want the pork beef with pop, your jalapeno um so yeah so we're gonna put the beef on top of there just like that okay that's my butter put this beef on there and just like that and then we're going to take this other pork and we're going to put this now remember this is the leftovers that we already warmed it up in the oven I'm, I'm sorry in the microwave so that's good and hot we're going to put that on there just like that for him okay and then also we're going to put a couple of uh, onions on there while it's cooking okay put a little onions on both of them just like that a few and then i also have a, a couple of hot actual jalapenos we're gonna put some of that on there as well because he likes jalapenos now if you don't like jalapenos of course you make your sandwich however you want to make your sandwich uh you know whatever the stuff you like we also have some pickles but i'm not gonna cook it with the pickles on top all right so we're gonna put the little jalapenos on top of there just like that okay that's perfect then we're gonna put uh the buns on top that's the bun. 
And then here's my jalapeno bun right here. Squeeze that right on top. All right, now my butter is ready. So we're gonna take our butter. And we're gonna just mix it up. Just like this. It's our garlic butter. It still is a little uh, part of that in there, but that's okay. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just brush that right on top of there. And then my extra, I'm gonna just pour it on top. Okay, that's gonna be good and bubbly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna broil this in the oven. I put it on 400, but that's just for it to get hot. I wanna kinda of rub it on the bottom there too, cause I want him to have some put on the bottom too. So we'll put that on the bottom there so that that can kind of go up against that bottom part. Just like that, y'all. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to broil that. We're going to put this in the oven for, uh, broil it for about two minutes. Let's see what two minutes looks like. And then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So that's our timer. I think we should be good to go. I actually ended up putting it on the broil for a minute in about 30 seconds. But that's how it looks right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give him a plate up. Let me move it over here as I do that. Okay, y'all, I am back on the island. And let's make Papa's plate, shall we? Um, We got the baked beans. So we're going to put in some baked beans on there. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, things that we made in the, get the sliders here. Okay, so those are those sliders. And I'm going to just place those, pick them up and place them right here on his plate. Just like that, y'all. Okay, and then I have that leftover uh, a little leftover of uh, butter, or garlic, you know, that we had. We're just gonna put that right there, so just like that. Yes, y'all. Okay, and then you're gonna need. I know I put some onions on there, but we'll put him some onions on the side, in case he needs that. I got some sliced onions right there. Boom. And then also we're gonna give him some extra jalapenos on the side here. In case he needs that. And then last but not least, we got some dill pickles. So we will put him some dill pickle slices on the side. Okay, just like that, y'all. All right, y'all, easy peasy. That pretty much is it. And that is all for cooking with the Jacobs. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a shot of the, um, hold on, y'all, sorry. Um, I'm gonna give him a side of this barbecue sauce too, just in case he needs more dippage. All right, and that is how we make the easy peasy sliders, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little easy recipe. Um, I cook it with the Jacobs, with the baked potatoes, as well as the sliders, you know, um, barbecue meat, two ways from Sam's. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.